Now, in the past few months on the channel, we've been experimenting with regen content in career mode. Whether it's the entire regen rebuilds, custom regens in career mode, or even regen battles. Brand new series we've launched in 2020. However, today, we're taking it up to the next level. We're going to find out today, what if we go in, create a My Player, start off with a brand new customized pro, retire within the first season, and attempt to scout, recruit, and find our brand new regen, sign him up into the team, and let's just see how this whole entire dynamic could work. Can we retire as a manager and sign our brand new regenerated player in career mode and low-key be operating a minor human cloning operation? This is going to be one wild ride of a video. Don't you worry, I want to continue that concept further. Can we continue signing his regen, make him retire and go regen after regen, generation after generation? We are exploring this concept into its maximum potential. Now earlier last week, I posted in the YouTube community tab, if you could guess the FIFA and team I was doing my retro rebuild on the team that doesn't exist. The video's already out. Check it if you haven't already. You get to have your name and your own customized pro in this upcoming regen video. Unfortunately, no one got it spot on correct. It was Palermo and FIFA 15. The first person to get even close to it was Sazat Hossein. He thought it was FIFA 16 and he guessed Palermo correctly, so I gave it to him considering he was one of the first people to comment. And if you guys missed out on entering, make sure to keep followed, keep posted on the community tab. I won't be launching some other few opportunities for you guys to get involved in these videos, so keep your eye out. Don't worry, boys. We're coming up with new creative and innovative ideas for you guys to get involved in the videos. We're changing things up in 2020. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Sazat gets to have his name in this video, and that is the My Player we're going to be focusing on for the video. He's the man in the spotlight today. What we can do, let's make him the youngest possible. 2003 for My Player, you can add. So My Player career mode is ahead of the curve. We're just going to say May 12th. We'll just make him 2003 May 12th. And he did say he was from Bangladesh. So we're going to gift him with that nationality. We'll make him the number 10. We're going to change things up a little bit. We're going to start Sazat off at a left midfielder. He's going to be a winger. And we're going to have him at a right footer. He's six foot tall. 100. I'm literally just making these numbers up. It could be whatever. Just for the purposes of this video, he'll be five foot 10. And we'll just leave everything in terms of the customization. He'll have unlocked shirt. We'll hook him up with some brand new boots. I know Sazat, he's probably a big fan of the Nike. So we'll slap on some Nike boots. And that's have a bit of Jamie Vardy boxing tape and I think Sazat is ready to go. He's in today's video. He is involved so you guys know what to do. If you want to get involved in any future videos, subscribe, turn on those notifications and you never know, maybe one day you might make it in. You know what? Just for the fun of it, let's pick England. Let's go Newcastle United. Sazat is going to join the Magpies after their billion pound takeover. As you can see right here, we're loaded up into my player. He's 16 years of age. It's the youngest. You can create your my player and he's for Newcastle United. Already the number 10 and he looks like an absolute baller. When it comes to his overall, he's 67 rated. I don't really know if we should train him up, make him a great player and then retire or just retire in the first season. I'm going to try a number of these saves and see what works out. And the news already reporting the big signing. It is Sazat. He's joined. He's made the trip over to Newcastle and he signed on the dotted line for the Magpies. It's been a brilliant day. It has been a dream start to life in his footballing career. He starts off at a 67, just your general rating when you're a my player. He has potential to be special from Bangladesh. He could be a world famous Bangladeshi wonder kid, but unfortunately, I'm sorry, Sazat. We're going to have to retire you straight away. Let's break the internet. Let's break records to be a teenage manager. We're retiring him straight away. And we already get some job offers here. We've got Barnsley, Mallorca in Spain, Mets in France. We've got Nims in France as well. That's a French team. A lot of French teams are after a 16 year old manager. We've got Brescia, Lecce, Spal. Oh my goodness, there's so many teams. But I think we'll just stay in England and we'll go with Barnsley. Just turned professional footballer to a 16 year old. I'd say probably the youngest manager in world of football. And he's become a Bangladeshi Mourinho. Oh, how time flies. How things change as Sazat Hussein is ready for his time at Barnsley. Damn, the glow up was real from transformation into a Newcastle Youth Academy graduate into a manager within the space of minutes. I mean, it's a career shift like no other. And he is looking like a managerial boss at the moment. You know what? Let's do it for the meme. Let's go rainbow jacket till we die. We're repping 6-9. We are repping this career mode glitch. 
is going to be one of the most downright randomest and weirdest glitches. Why does every single glitch in Karimo have to do with rainbows? We had the Griezmann rainbow hair last year. We've got the rainbow jackets this year. What's next in FIFA 21? Like rainbow jerseys? I don't know. That's more like it. That's what I want to see. A bit of rainbow jacket action in the cutscenes. Uh, this is definitely a 16-year-old fashion choice if I've ever seen one. Go to search player. Let's try and get this regen. Bangladeshi nationality. And we'll go with league. He did retire in the Premier League. So it'll be interesting to see what team he's going to spawn on. We'll go with 16 to 21 age range. And now we have the search parameters right here already. We have a regenerated Bangladeshi left mid. We have Ellis Dimitriou. I don't know if the ethnicity matches up or the name. I'm not too sure. But he looks like a player and a half. He spawned into Bournemouth. He's already valued at 70 million pounds. 87 overall. He's getting 88k a week. And he has potential to be special, man. Bangladesh has become a brand new hub for youth academy talent right now. And we have him right here. He's got four star skill moves, three star weak foot. He's a left footer, five foot ten, medium, medium work rates. Now, a bit of a deep dive into his stats. He's got 90s in the physicals already, 91 stamina, which is beautiful to see, 92 balance, 91 acceleration, and 86 vision over in the technical stats. The 21 year old, the 93 curve, 91 ball control, 92 crossing, and he's a bit of a free kick specialist as well, sitting out at 82. He does have poor finishing, sitting out at 64, but his passing stats definitely do live up to the hype, and we just can't actually sign him straight away. And for Barnsley, I don't even think we could afford his wages, let alone his transfer fee. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something about the financials there. We definitely need some more funds in the bank. As we started off with this team, he is going to bolt straight into this starting 11. Now with the magic of PC mods, we've been able to hook ourselves up in the transfer budget. Nice little boost in the transfer funds. This is going to be an extremely weird confrontation. However, first, we've got to agree a transfer fee with Bournemouth. All right, Eddie Howe, you've just met a 16 year old manager in a nightclub. Now let's get down to business and let's uh, secure this transfer fee. 80 million pounds is going to be our first bet. Imagine having to pay money for your own regen in real life. Eddie Howe's happy with that. We have cut him off 90 million pounds for the Bangladeshi left midfielder and Sazat is on the verge of signing his regenerated wonder kid, a regen of himself. Let's get into these contract talks. Now here we are in the office. A 16 year old just granted this office. Come down to League 1, forget the Premier League. League 1 is where it's at, third division and Barnsley are about to get the player of their life. He's going to have a crucial first team role. Sazat definitely in a uncomfortable, unique position at the moment. Let's just say that and they've agreed he has signed his own regen. Like, how is this even possible? We have cloned him, regenerated him as a 21-year-old. Wait, how does that even make sense? He's a 16-year-old manager and his regen is 21. Okay, I've just I've just clocked onto that now. And Barsley have got an 87 rated Sazat Hossein regen. Where is he? There we go. Unveiled to the Barnley fans. Oh my goodness me. That is one of the weirdest accomplishments I've ever pulled off in career mode this year. Ellis Dimitri unveiled to Barnsley. And there is a little look at him. 94 sprint speed, 93 curve. Has potential to be special. And he's now joined up here with Barnsley. The Bangladesh and Barnsley connection at the moment is looking extremely promising. And we have gained an elite tier one the kid in our ranks. Don't you worry. He's going to carry on the traditions of his regenerated predecessor, Sasat. He is going to rep those Nike boots. The red and white mercurial vapors. He's carrying the left hand boxing tape legacy on as well and he is fully decked out fully customized in terms of his rank in the squad he is miles above the rest 16 overall points away as a matter of fact to the second place alex mawat dimitriou is on a different planet compared to these guys oh i didn't even realize that Basu were in the championship okay I, I just completely thought they were in league one for a second but no we're in the second division instead of the first it's not that bad of a step down for the bangladeshi region however before we get into a game and a full simulated season with sazat and his regenerated Dimitriou Wonder Kid. I want to show you guys one of my other attempts at this just to show you it's not a fluke. It literally happens in every single My Player career mode you try. And let's see what differing results we get with a different nationality, different position, different league. Let's get into our second attempt. Here is a cheeky look at my second attempt with a few differentiated variables at the moment. We are in France, OGC Nice with max power. If you know, you know. Here is our pro. He is 22 years of age instead of 16. So let's see what age his regen comes out at and he is from Sayo Tome a Principe. The reason why I keep doing all these randomized unique little nations obscure from the big nations is that we can easily find the regen and he's one of only a couple of actual players. It just makes the searching oh that much easier. If you're from Sayo Tome a Principe, I got no idea where that is again. I mean it could be in the Caribbean. I'm not too sure. Let me know down in the comments below but that they have an awesome flag. We've created max power here. He is a striker this time around. Yeah he's a center forward. He's a finisher. He's got a left foot and he 
and he's rocking those red and white mercurial vapor boots. He's five foot three, number 15 finesse, and in the squad hub, he is 66 overall. He doesn't have that potential to be special status like Sazat did. He just has at the club since 2019. How is Max Powers regen going to be affected by that? And the striker, 22 years of age. Let's see what happens when we retire with Max Power. Let's confirm our retirement after one season, after one day. This time around, we've got offers from the likes of fellow French clubs like Nîmes, Rodez AF. We've got Chambly, another French club. And we've got Paderborn in the Bundesliga. So you know what? We're going to pick Paderborn. Let's go to Germany and see what our regen is going to be. Max Power, are you going to deliver us the goods or is it going to be a failed regen attempt? Let's find out. Here is a confirmation for all you lot just to prove that everything is in working order. We have Max Power right here at Paderborn. Accepted the manager role and he's turned from a professional footballer to a manager within a matter of minutes. Within a matter of hours, he already had clubs knocking at the door. Manager offers flying through left, right, and center. And just like we did with Sazat, we're going to imply the specific search parameters. So he did retire in League Unfinished, and he should be a striker, a center forward, and the age parameters will be between 16 and 21. Let's see what we find. Let's see what the results will be. And his regenerated star is 21 years of age, the striker, Luis Leal Dos Anjos. Dos Anjos, Dos Anjos, Luis Leal. We've just got a mixture, a muddle of names. It looks like someone just bashed the keyboard, and that's what came out. And this this is how he looks. He is a out and out striker. He only has two star skill moves, three star weak foot, a left footer, five foot nine with high attack and work rates and medium defensive. No traits or specialities to show for. Taking the GTN scouts, a good part of a solid month to scout Dos Anjos. Max Power's regen, he's playing for Amiens in League One and this is how he compares to Sozat's regen. He only has 81 overall in comparison to 87. They both were 21, so maybe that is the magic number. In the physicals, he is looking in tip top shape, world class stuff here. 97 acceleration, 94 agility, 93 balance, and 91 sprint speed. He's going to be rapid with 87 stamina. The strength department is lacking only at a 72. Meanwhile, attack positioning standing strong at 88. 80 composure to start off with. As we move on over to the technical department, everything is looking pretty peachy at the moment. 96 ball control, 90 crossing, and 91 dribbling. 71 finishing is a bit touch and go for a striker. Nevertheless, heading accuracy, long passes, and volleys are his worth attributes. His current transfer market valuation sitting at 35 million in comparison to Dimitriou's 70 million straight off the bat. We're going to have to pay between 42 and 58 mil. So let's get this deal over the line. And again, we're going for the impossible. Things that are only possible in FIFA 20 career mode. Things I would have never dreamed of. Things I never would have thought of if it wasn't for you guys down in the comments below. Let me know. 43 mil plus a 20% sell-on clause. We're going to accept that straight away. And Max Power is on the journey. He's on the hunt to find his regenerator player. Sign him up here at Paderborn. What a moment. He's in the nice little cafe. He's invited them down. He doesn't care about social distancing. Max Power is on another level. He is on another planet at the moment. He's going to have a crucial first team role. We're going to accept that. And this time, the likeness is there between the two. Between the regen and the manager. These are just some beautiful scenes. I mean, the manager and his regen. Shaking hands, locking down this deal. You can definitely see the difference in terms of results, a different position, a different league, a different nationality, so many different variables you can shake up. It is like a father and son combining. He is manager whilst he is coaching his own regenerated star. 21 years of age, we win the race for Luis Leal Dos Anjos. As we simulate the rest of this season, we're going to see how has Sazat and his regen done at Barnsley. End of season one for Sazat and his regen here at Barnsley. They finished in 14th place, so they've avoided relegation. He's done well as a 16-year-old manager. I'd be very proud if I was him at the moment. Let's check up and see how Dimitriou has done. In terms of stats, he is still the highest rated player with 89 overall, plus two this season. He's very close to becoming in a league of his own world class, one of the world's best. In 47 championship appearances, he has managed 13 goals and nine assists. So 22 goal contributions from the Bangladesh international. Well, I, I think that's the best he could do, to be fair, considering his teammates around him. These are how his stats improved. Every going up besides balance and in the tech cools we've got a lot going up a lot improving and a little incremental upgrades going around to every tech cool i don't think any have maxed out as of yet and his financial status 84 million pounds on the transfer market max power's got this treatment coming in up next so stick around if you want to see how the simulation did with him and his regen however we're going to go into a game let's see if we can get a few goals maybe an assist here and there and there he is looking keen looking mean 
and it says that's regen. A been an absolute wonder, been a beauty, especially here in the championship. He's been probably one of the league's best players, and now we get to use him in game. Gets a little offload into Demetrio, and look at the skills already. And he's doing roulettes, doing fake shots, and that's been such a fake shot, such a poor touch. We should have given him captaincy, unfortunately, didn't think that far ahead. And now Demetrio's pace. Is absolutely rapid at the moment. Can he find the ball inside? It might have been the perfect assist. Dominating this left-hand side. Can the Bangladesh international get on the score sheet or be involved in a goal today? He's definitely showing off his skills to the world. Oh no, what have we done? Okay. All right, well, that was my mistake. <laughs> One nil down. Why am I... Why? Just why? Why am I like this? Nice ball on the outside. We're going to cut back in. Use our skill to get past the defenders and straight off kick off and Dimitri hits the post. Beautiful run. Let's get it. We're two goals down. Can he peg one back? Can he half the deficit before half time? A lovely finish again. What is it with these close calls? And again, he's come oh so close. I don't care about the result. I just want to get either a goal or an assist with Dimitri. He beautifully shimmies past his man. He'll cut back inside with the drag back. And on his weak foot, we should have gone with the left foot. Come on, we're running out of time here, boys. Over the top. And he's brandished yellow card, but he won't mind. He'll continue on and try to get into the middle with the little drag back again. He'll fake shot on to his right once more. And after all that time, trying to get it on his left foot, we finally get a consolation goal. I'll run to the manager. I wanted him to run to the manager, but he's dedicated that one to the manager, to the fans. It would have been the icing on top of the cake if we ran towards the rainbow jacket, but it was all the way on the other side of the pitch. It would have been a marathon anyway. He shows his versatility, shows his class, and it says that looking very happy on the sidelines, decked out in his rainbow jacket. And this is how Max Powers Paderborn performed, and he didn't have that much of a great outing, unlike Barnsley in the championship. He finished rock bottom of the Bundesliga, We've got one last game against Frankfurt away from home, but I don't think we'll be playing it. I just conclude that I'm just hopeless. And Dos Anjos, if Dos Anjos can't save this Paderborn side, I don't think anything will. So we'll just simulate this last match. We'll auto-fix the results. He is in the starting 11. Dos Anjos, the number 10. Can he get a goal to send off the Bundesliga? Not be wooden spooners, no. They get smacked 4-0 against Frankfurt. Despite being relegation candidates, Luis Liao, Dos Anjos managed to pick up a plus three to his overall now at an 84 rating. He still couldn't save the squad in 31 appearances, eight goals and three assists. So 11 goal contributions. We move on to his attributes and everything is going up. Dos Anjos receiving upgrades in every single attribute, which is lovely to see. We did have the Bangladesh region. He didn't have a stat maxed out, but he was way higher at an 89. This time at an 84 rating, he's got 99 accelerator. We also have 98 ball control, 98 curve, and 93 dribbling. Every single attribute increasing besides penalties and defensive awareness. So I think despite the relegation campaign, Luis did definitely have a season to remember. And that is where we're going to conclude today. Retiring your my player and signing your regen as a manager. We've had the story of Max Power. One of our subscribers even got involved. It has been a hectic little experiment video. So if you did go on to enjoy, make sure to smack a like on it down below. Hit subscribe, turn on those notifications. Notifications. Get involved in the community tab. It's been popping off over there, bloody Javi Simmons responded to me in the DMs. It's been a hectic, hectic week, so hopefully you did enjoy. And make sure to comment down below which regen did you prefer? Was it Sazat's regen or Dos Anjos, the regen of max power? I've been BCHD. Stay safe, and I'll catch you all in the very next video.